All right. <clears throat> you know, sometimes you don't realize what's involved with doing these videos. I just went through 20 minutes of gameplay here and realized that the the rambling that was going on and the mistakes that were being made because uh, either I was distracted by the telephone ringing or the lack of electricity in the house and uh, whatever. So basically I was trying to walk you through the special forces uh, phase and have a conversation with you about what I could or couldn't do based on the current situation. And just to net all this out and make this a five minute video instead of a 20 minute video, here's the deal. The the uh, special forces capabilities for the allies is pretty uh, substantial. They can do seven or eight attacks a turn, and those attacks are usually focused on either impacting airfields or detecting enemy HQs, supply depots, and the like, or messing, raiding, uh, messing up uh, detection tracks and things like that. Uh, you can also degrade SAMs uh, as well, uh, and, and uh, SAMs and theater weapons, so cruise missile capabilities and stuff like that. Right, so uh, you can't uh, place a uh, special forces activity within two hexes of one of your own units. Uh, there's, I think there's an exception on that, but basically it's two hexes. And so what I had done was put uh, one here and one over here. And then I started going through that exercise, uh, realized I couldn't do that, so I, we took all that back. So that was a total waste of time you watching that. And then uh, I went through looking for DRMs because I rolled really crappy. And I looked at the DRMs for Special Operations Forces Survival and applied them to the die rolls for the friggin' CRT. <clears throat> Just a clusterfuck all around. So, um, did I warn you this wasn't going to be family friendly? Well, guess what? It's not family friendly. Okay, so I got to the point where I decided well, that was null and void. This one didn't work. We didn't lose any guys on our die rolls uh, because you've got this uh, survival rating thing you've got to roll for. And there's really no other situations on the map where we want to try and do anything in particular with the special forces because the risk of losing them is relatively high, number one, and number two, um, I think the value of the trying to achieve a result on a given uh, situation is not necessarily worth it because we have uh, such a, pretty much a, a, an overwhelming amount of force on the board at the moment, and we're just completely kicking ass uh, against the, the packies and the PRC. So it's a little, this, this game's about to be over uh, one way or another very, very soon. And you'll see why as this uh, little set of videos evolves. So what I did finally do uh, as the uh, special forces operator controller of the uh, PRC is I, I, I placed four missions on detection and SAMs uh, to resolve those. And we actually had some successful ones and we knocked detection down to seven for the Roy and uh, we knocked off uh, four, was three was it? I think it might've been three uh, for the Sams and we did not lose any uh, guys because we applied the correct DRMs this time. So these guys go to the used box. I have not yet used the, the Pakistani chappies, a little curry much and buddies right here. We have not yet used those guys uh, and I, I probably could use them to do some detection stuff, but quite frankly, unless we're going to cruise missile hit something, I'm not sure that I want to uh, invest the effort in, uh, going through the detection exercise. Most of the units I would want to hit are going to be eligible to be hit in any case. Uh, the, the, the packies are on full, uh, fully on the back foot here and, and really in a pretty tough situation. You can see this is the full extent of their forces here covering Islamabad and a couple of uh, uh, nuclear sites there. And then over here on the left hand side of the map, we've got some PRC and a few packs here kind of hanging in tough. And then that's all choppers there. There's no units there. Um, God only knows why I returned them to base there. So these were in transit to get to here, over here. And these guys are blocked at the moment by this. So clearly a couple of attacks are going to happen. So one will we'll bomb the crap out of these guys. 
and uh, kind of take it from there. Anyway, that's kind of what's going on. So that's the end of the Special Forces phase. And so we're going to grab our little turn marker and move it down a little spot to Air Naval. This is where I can do strikes and both sides get to allocate strikes. I, I just do all of one side and all of another side. Uh, and then as, as things evolve, we work out who wants to do intercepts. You may be able to see in the corner, top right hand corner there, you can see there are no red units here, which means that there are going to be no, uh, no intercepts occurring and no escorts occurring for the, for the non-allied side this time, this turn. It's going to be brutal and I have lots of escort cap capability here for the, uh, for the allied side. So now what we want to do is look into what we, how we want to handle the the uh, the strike phase and who wants to strike what. Uh, there is a formal process for doing that. Uh, I, I think it's either alternating or you uh, you use the AWACS rating uh, that's on the map here and you know, one side does four and the other one does one. It's one of the two. Uh, either way, we're not doing that. We're just having each side is gonna, excuse me, each side's gonna lay down what they wanna do and we're gonna go for it from there. So what I think I might do, given this is now a six-minute video, is I'll create another one for that if something interesting happens, and uh, we'll just let this be the Special Forces uh, activities for the turn. And you might want to see the table we're rolling against. I don't know if you care about that stuff, but that's the Special Forces results table. You have raids on the left and, and recon on the right, and then in the middle you've got this uh, tricky little uh, deal here where you attack the... Um, uh, Infrastructure, basically, is what I would call that, the defensive inf infrastructure and uh, uh, ED infrastructure. And then you have the recovery section here in the DRMs. What I was doing was, in a blind desperation, was applying DRMs from here over here, which is dumb. Okay, that's all I got for you. Later.